my channel. I'm Tia and I upload four times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I do mostly synthetic wig related content here. We're multicultural, we're inclusive. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you're happy, one of my little doll babies. Hi, doll baby. How are you? So happy that you are here. So happy that you're here. Today, I am doing a review on a wig control spray that I have been using. You probably saw this in a haul, or you will see it in a haul, because I never know. I pre film, so I never know what uh, order things go up in necessarily. But this beautiful girl is Counterculture by Beltress in the color British Milk Tea. This was gifted to me by the Beauty Nook. There's a full review up on her, so you can check that out. Okay. Today, we are looking at uh, African Essence. Uh, control wig spray. This is three in one formula for human and synthetic hair. It's for wigs, falls, hair pieces, and braids. Okay. It is, it says that it softens conditions and provides moisture and sheen. There's 12 fluid ounces in this. There's like a lot of spray in this. And I'll put all of the deets and like how much I paid for it and where I got it. It wasn't a lot. I don't remember right off the top of my head. And it says. <laughs> It says, Control Wig Spray is a 3-in-1 formula designed to help wigs and braids maintain a beautiful and natural look. Use the crystal clear formula daily to maintain a beautiful sheen, suburb, suburb, superb softness, and natural look for all human hair and synthetic wigs, braids, and hair pieces. So the directions is to hold the bottle 10 to 12 inches from the hair, spray evenly on the hair, do not oversaturate, brush and comb into desired styles. I have used this, um, I've used this, I've used this quite a bit. Um, and I really do enjoy it. I'll show you a demo. As you can see, this wig, like, as I brushed it out, there's just a little bit of puffiness um, and flyaway. So we're going to use that to tame that down. Uh, the smell of this is amazing. It smells like sort of coconut and cocoa butter. It reminds me of, like, old school, like, tanning lotion, like, back in the day when people actually used to put tanning lotion on and, like, go in the sun purposely. My mom is very, very pale. And I remember her slathering herself with that, slathering herself with baby oil, like going out. She would get like kind of burnt and like then she would have like all of her skin peel and then she'd want me to peel it off. Like that's so gross. I get it so gross. But you know, you know if you've done it that you've done it. Um, and then I would peel the skin off and it would be a beautiful tan. It's just like, it just reminds me of like cooking a baked potato and then peeling the skin off. And you're like, oh, it's great now. But like the skin's peeled off. Anyway. So let's go ahead. This is all the hair to the front. So let's go ahead and we're going to give it a shake and we're going to spray it out here. I have a fan on, so I have to be careful because this is going to go everywhere. Oh. Listen, it has to smell good. First of all, I feel like it's nice if it smells good when you're putting it on your wig because, you know, wigs can smell a little bit sometimes, but I also feel like I am a migraine sufferer and there are so there are certain smells that I just can't tolerate and these are the types of smells like the coconut smells and things like that the beachy sort of smells so long as they're not like perfume-esque really I just I love how they smell they're very nostalgic for me um I grew up on on Lake Erie so I was you know at the lake at the beach all the time and I just it's very nostalgic and I love the smell so that makes me happy. So now we're doing sort of that before and after. You can see how smooth it became. You know, just there's an additional shine to it. I didn't use a lot, as you could see. Yeah, I definitely feel like it made this one really, really nice and helped with, you know, those sort of fuzziness and flyaways. So let me go ahead and just do a picture of before and after. So this is the side with the spray. This is without. As you can see clearly that there is a difference. So we, we already did this side. Let's just do a little bit more and make them the same. Because I want them the same. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how beautiful. It just snaps it right back. If you're gonna get one spray, because I have done sort of detangling spray reviews and also reviews on just wig shine spray, I kind of feel like if you're going to do just one spray, this is probably one that I would recommend over other ones if you want it sort of to be more multitask. And also, again, the color is amazing. The color, the smell is amazing. Um, but I feel like it is giving it sort of that softness, a little bit of shine, getting rid of some of the dullness. 
and also making it easier to maintain and brush through. So if you're just going to get one, I definitely think this would be the one to get. And yeah, so that, oh, it's feeling so beautiful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that is what I have for you for this review. If you have this uh, spray and you have some thoughts, go ahead and put that down below. If there's another similar type spray that you would like me to review, go ahead and put that down below. These sort of reviews and sprays, I think they're in my wig tips and also in the cutting and styling playlist. So I will link both of those down below. Maybe I should make a playlist for wig tools and products. I think I will. I want to write it down right now. So I will start a playlist for that so I'll link that down below as well so you can find some of the other uh, tools and products that I have used now that we have we're just growing our available videos on different knowledge and reviews and so now that there's enough to actually create a playlist we're gonna do it me and you me and you well I mean I'm gonna do it and then hopefully you'll use it so yeah anyway <laughs> If you like these types of reviews, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you think that there's someone that might benefit from knowing a little bit more about this product, go ahead and share this video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you have, you're my doll baby, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!